beginner rider ka ba at gusto mo ng bike na may big bike look? Or naghahanap ka ba ng commuter or weekend bike na astigang looks? Wow bars! Or gusto mo ng big bike pero ayaw ka payagan ng partner mo sa Expressway? Or limited ba yung budget mo pero gusto mo ng bike from the very trusted brand? Kung oo yung sagot mo sa lahat ng tanong ko, this might be the perfect bike for you. I am Music and this is the Yamaha MT-03. Good day guys! Welcome back to my channel! So for today, we're going to review this Yamaha MT-03. Salamat nga pala sa napakapoging brother-in-law ko, Kuya Ray Lazaro, for lending us this bike for the review. So we're going to run this bike through the different categories that we are using to review every bike. So we're going to review the looks, the engine and performance, the tech, the reliability, maintenance and accessories, and of course, the value for money. We'll score each category with stars, 5 being the highest, and we'll give our verdict sa dulo. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number 1 is the looks. This bike is from the line of Yamaha bikes that features the aggressive look to show the dark side of Japan. Basically, this is a Street Fighter version of the Yamaha R3 kasi pareho sila ng engine but different body. Meron siyang sporty and yet aggressive looking front light assembly na may eyebrow style daytime running lights and a very powerful round dead light sa gitna for excellent nighttime visibility. Actually, pag nakikita ko yung front light assembly nitong bike na to, si Shockwave ng transformer talaga nakikita ko. The handlebars are just perfect and it will allow the rider to maneuver this bike easily. And the side mirrors complements the aggressive looks. Meron din siyang re-sculpted fuel tank na mas pinalaki for that big bike look. Pero the thing na nagustuhan ko talaga sa bike na to is that Yamaha made this bike as simple as it may look para sa customization ng owner. Imagine that you are given a beautiful canvas that you are about to personalize and customize. Actually, even the stickers of this bike are very minimal. This bike has a length of 2,090mm, width of 755mm, height of 1,070mm, wheelbase of 1,380mm, and a ground clearance of 160mm. It has two color options na available sa market. Yung Ice Fluo na medyo gray and yung matte stealth black. This bike has the Ice Fluo color with the humihiyaw na red rims. The color is a stunner though I can see na you need more maintenance on it like the one that you wipe sa dashboard ng kotse kasi mabili siya kumupas. Weight of this bike is just 168kg which is perfect sa beginner riders. Madali and enjoy siya gamitin. Siguro if I am to own one, I would install windshield, radiator guard, shocks protectors, engine sliders, auxiliary lights, tank pad, and tank grips. So for the looks, I would give this bike 4.5 stars. Number 2 is engine and performance. This bike has a 321cc, liquid-cooled, 4-stroke, 2-cylinder, parallel twin engine, fuel injected, dual overhead cam, 6-speed transmission that produces 41 horsepower and 29.6 Nm of torque at 9,000 RPM. In front is yung malatransformer na headlight, 37mm na kayaba inverted fork, single disc brake with ABS, and 2-piston akebono brake caliper. Single brake lang talaga ang nilagay ng Yamaha sa bike na ito dahil hindi nila nakikita na kailangan ng 2 disc sa isang 168kg na bike na ang target ay beginner to novice riders. It has a decent stock front tire na Dunlop Sportmax GPR 300 na may size na 110 by 70 by 17 which is perfect for city riding. Pero if you're going to use this bike sa bankingan, I suggest to replace the tires with a softer compound. Same as the other Yamaha bikes, medyo matigas lang yung clutch niya with non-adjustable levers. I guess this is one thing na Yamaha can do better on all of their bikes kasi owners are still buying the easy pull clutch system para maging light yung clutch. The bike is supported with its lightweight diamond type tubular frame which combines low weight with immense strength para mas madaling i-maneuver sa traffic. The tank holds up to 14 liters of fuel and has a fuel consumption of 29 kilometers per liter which is sobrang tipid for its displacement. 
Sa likod naman ay may malaki but yet aggressive looking taillight, Kayaba shocks, may single disc with ABS, one piston caliper, and gulong na may size na 140 by 70 by 17. And I think kaya pa nito hanggang 160 na gulong. May mababang seat height na 780mm which is perfect for beginner and short riders. I'm 5'9 and ganito ang itsura pag ako nakasakit. As you can see, flat foot ako sa bike na to which makes it easy for me to use this bike on a daily commute plus the fact na magaan nga siya. I really like the stance on this bike. Upright siya which will allow me to ride this bike on long rides without thinking about my lower back. However, kung gaano ko comfortable sa rider itong bike na to, I cannot say the same thing sa pillion seat. Kasi mukhang hindi chairman approve itong bike na to dahil sa nipis ng cushion ng pillion seat. Isa pang nakikita ko na medyo magkaka-challenge yung taller riders is yung foot peg position ng rider kasi medyo mataas siya than the usual. I think if you are 5, 6 or below, this will just be perfect. And of course, hindi dapat mawala yung exhaust sound check. So for the engine and performance, considering na siya ang may pinakamalit na displacement in his class that includes the Kawasaki Z400 and KTM Duke 390, I would give this bike 4 stars. Number 3 is the tech. This Yamaha MT-03 has a high-tech LCD instrument panel that displays the speedometer, RPM gauge, gear indicator, engine temperature, fuel gauge, time, and yung odometer. The other indicators like yung turning lights, headlights, hazard lights, check engine, neutral indicator, and oil indicator are nasa gilid. And if you're going to compare the panel with its competitors, I would say na it is in the middle since yung Duke 390 has the full TFT display while I'm not a fan of the display ng Z400. And all lights nga pala nitong bag na to are LED na which is really good. I don't think that we should have a lot of expectations sa bike na to in terms of the tech due to its low price. So in terms of the tech features itong bike, I will give it 4 stars. Number 4, Reliability. Do I need to say more sa reliability ng Yamaha bikes? According sa America's Consumer Reports, which has been rating motorcycles since 1936, Yamaha is ranked as the most reliable motorcycle with only 11% mechanical failure leaving behind Honda and Suzuki with 12% and Kawasaki with 15%. And Yamaha has been dominating this ranking for years. Pero of course, the reliability of the bike still depends kung paano mo alagaan yung bike. So my suggestion is always sundin yung maintenance schedule ng bike based on sa manual para iwas din sa sakit ng ulo. So in terms of reliability, I would give this bike 5 stars. Next is maintenance and accessories. Isa ang Yamaha sa mga napakarami na kalat na dealership and service centers dito sa Pilipinas. They have a lot of partner dealers din and service centers sa mga rural areas. And I believe itong bike na to ay nabili sa isang partner dealer dito sa Bulacan. At dahil dito, marami kang choices kung saan ka magpapagawa ng motor, maging sa kasaman or sa local motorcycle shops and service centers na malapit sa lugar mo. In terms of the spare parts naman, wala kang magiging problema dahil marami silang supply nito. With the accessories naman, Yamaha provides a lot of accessories na pwede mong ilagay dito. This bike is a blank canvas and you will be able to see a lot of accessories to personalize and customize this bike according to your liking. So for the maintenance and accessories, I would give this bike 5 stars. At ang napaka-importante number 6, value for money. SRP of this bike is 254,000 pesos which is the cheapest among its competitors. The KTM Duke 390 is priced at 289,000 pesos, while the Kawasaki Z400 is priced at 279,000 pesos. And as I mentioned earlier, this bike is perfect for a beginner rider, so I believe the value of this bike is quite just right. 
However, I strongly believe that there's a big chance that riders will outgrow this bike quickly, which will be the trigger for the purchase of a higher CC or an expressway legal bikes and losing some money in the process. Ang disadvantage kasi nitong bike na to for me is unlike the KTM Duke 390 and the Kawasaki Z400, hindi talaga siya pwede sa expressway kasi as far as I know, the other bikes sinabi ko are registered as 400cc na sa CR. So kahit na they can be considered as a starter or beginner bikes as well, they will not have the urge to replace the bike quickly since they can use it sa expressway. And with the price tag of quarter of a million, kaunti na lang yung idadagdag to get a bike na expressway legal na. Though this rationale only applies lang here in the zone. But for me, in terms of the value for money, I would give this bike 4 stars. So let's do a recap of our rating for the Yamaha MT-03. For the looks, we gave 4.5 stars. For the engine and performance, we gave 4 stars. For the tech, we gave 4 stars. For the reliability, we gave 5 stars. For the maintenance and accessories, we gave 5 stars. And for the value for money, we gave 4 stars. Which will be giving us a final rating of 4.4 stars. As a conclusion, I would say that this is a great bike for beginner and shorter riders na walang balak or hindi pwede upgrade to higher CC kasi mapapalo sila ng commander nila. This is also great for daily commute kasi magaan nga siya and super versatile. And so before I end my video, of course, shoutout muna tayo. Shoutout tayo kay Francia Lazaro Kobayashi from Japan, Kylie Joy Lazaro from Bulacan, kay Jomar, Dante at Daniel ng PTT Pandibulacan, kay Arnel Gripon at sa staff ng Petron Pandibulacan, ang poging magician na si Dale Rubio at ng ako man ng San Jose na si Raf Refulhente. At kung may napulot kayo sa mga pinlikes sa ko, may dalawang button sa ibaba para pindutin. Paki-like yung video and hit the subscribe button para update kayo sa mga latest uploads. So kita kits na lang ulit tayo sa next vlog natin. This has been Music signing off. Stay safe, ride safe, and God bless.